Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on Supergirl Season 6. Today we're going to be talking about Episode 12. This is the episode directed by Arrow's David Ramsey, who obviously you guys will know as John Diggle. He is finally returning to the Arrowverse in this episode, but he's also directing this episode. So we need to break down the new set photos which feature him and an exciting new superhero in costume. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. So I'm super excited to talk about this. I've been waiting days to make this video. There's been so much coming out that I've had to cover like the Godspeed, new photos, which you can check out my video, which is just at the top right of the screen. But now I am eventually getting around to this. So this came out earlier this week. This is all coming from Canada Graphs and Themyscira Bound. You can check out Canada Graphs' blog, which is linked in the description below. There is a ton of photos, like I'm talking over 50 photos to do with this day. Also, you can check out his Twitter, at Canada Graphs, to stay up to date on all the latest set photos. Also, likewise, Themyscira Bound, who we're going to be going over a few of their photos. You can check them out on Twitter, at Themyscira Bound which will be in the link in the description below. So these guys did a great job and they got so much coverage out for us and we need to break it all down and talk about it. Obviously we're gonna go through Kenny Graf's blog where he kind of details what happened throughout the day, but also we're gonna be alongside breaking down the photos they've actually taken. So actually Canada Graphs had another blog go up just after this and we're going to be breaking that down in a separate video in the next few days which actually features set photos of David Ramsey as John Diggle but the main focus of this video is to talk about Kelly's new Guardian suit. So yes it's official guys Kelly is suiting up as Guardian and she has a brand new suit which these guys, Canada Grass and Themis Hero Bound, were able to get first looks at, and we're going to be breaking that down today. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and look at this photo. So, here we go. This is our first good look at Kelly in the Guardian suit, and along with her suit, you have a motorcycle. So, she has like a special motorcycle, which is very cool, and it goes with the color scheme. And you guys might be like, hmm, this color scheme, it looks very familiar. Well, in the comics, Guardian actually does normally have this color scheme, the golden yellow and the blue. Well, that's what you can see here, and as you know, Guardian, back in like season two and three, played by Makar Brooks, of course, playing James, had a silvery metallic suit. So this is just another iteration, and I really like that they've made Kelly's Guardian very distinctive and very different, rather than doing something very similar. So there was actually set photos as well, which featured Kelly's stunt double working with what looks like John Diggle. And she's got a version of the original Guardian mask on and it's silvery. So I think she has a temporary one. And then after that, she quickly upgrades to this full on color scheme. And so my first impression is this is awesome. Like it's fantastic. We've been teased that we're gonna see Kelly suited up as Guardian for the first time. And I'm gonna say this does not disappoint at all and I just love the color scheme, like I said. Everyone has been very complimentary about it. Some people have been complaining about the helmet. If you look at the helmet right here, I think it's pretty good. Like, I mean, what can you do with a helmet? Like, helmets are hard to do, and they don't always look the best, and I think they've done, like, the best job they can. And so I also like the fact that Kelly's hair is different, and that it's, like, knotted up in braids, I think it is. I'm not very good at hair. I'm sorry about that. However, it is very cool that it is different from her normal look and that she is like fully going into this superhero persona and changing her whole appearance. But yeah, so on the mask you can see it's nearly fully golden and then you have the rims at the side that aren't golden. Then if you go down the suit, you see it's kind of like this bluish kind of color, but I don't know the exact right way to describe it. But we're going to say it's blue for now. Okay, so you see that it's down on the chest and it continues down and the legs are the same color and then you have the golden boots which is really really cool and if we go back up the shoulder pads are golden and then her shield obviously that is the big thing about guardian he's always had the shield and so she has her version of the shield which is gold and i think that is probably the best thing about this the fact that she's gone for the same shield as james had before but it's her own version of it, and I think that really, really stands out, and I just think the color's great. Also, I don't know if you guys noticed, but on the motorcycle, the number plate is Azzy, and so I thought that was very funny, because, you know, Azzy Tesfaye plays Kelly, 
and she is the one who is riding the motorcycle and so yeah that's really awesome and I love that she has her own matching motorcycle with the colors you can see the golden but also it's more of like a bluish kind of black shade on the motorcycle so it's like her own version of like the Batmobile or something so I think it's really cool Alright, so now we've talked about her suit, and we're going to talk more about her suit, but let's go over to Canada Graphs' blog and actually break down what was happening on this day whilst they were filming. You're going to see some photos pop up on the screen that is going to correlate to what we're talking about. So the scene on the day had a large portion of the cast on set. So Melissa Benoist was there as Supergirl, David Harewood was there as Martian Manhunter, Kyla Lee was there as Alex Danvers slash Sentinel, Jesse Raff was there as Brainy, Nicole Maines as Dreamer, and also as Itess Faye, as Kelly Olsen, aka Guardian, and also this was her episode she wrote, so that is very important to know as well. And so the rumours of Kelly becoming Guardian have come to fruition, and she is seen sporting a new black and gold outfit. Kyla's character, Alex, was also seen sporting a new bike, and her license plate read Try Me. Also on set was one currently unknown blonde woman and a man who was her driver along with some background people. As usual, something bad was happening in National City. This time it seemed that a cleanup crew was busy working and trying to clean up the debris from a destroyed building, which had a sign saying Ormfield Building on it, which so far hasn't been linked to anything in DC Comics lore. Okay, so let's move on to the next bit. In the scene, the unknown woman, so the blonde woman, who you can probably see on the screen right now, gets driven through the group of characters to a spot where she stops, gets out of the car, where she is confronted by Supergirl, Martian Manhunter, Brainiac 5, Dreamer, Guardian, and Sentinel. So like the whole of Team Supergirl. The woman puts her hands spread to the side, and all the people except for the heroes drop to the ground as if they died. The heroes continue talking to her, and that was more or less the majority of the scene. So that's pretty much what happened on this day. And also remember David Ramsey was there, he was directing, and he did do some scenes later in the day, but like I mentioned earlier, we're gonna break that down in a separate video because it's very interesting what he's specifically wearing, and we'll go over that. However, you can see on the screen right now, this is a photo of David on the set, and so it's super exciting to see him back because obviously he was one of the main stars on Arrow. And this is our first proper crossover episode, so episode 12 of season 6 of Supergirl, you're going to be seeing David Ramsey show up as John Diggle once again. Also, he's set to show up on all of the other four Arrowverse shows right now. But yeah, so he was here in a bunch of photos directing, and you can see Azzy with him as he directs her, and so she's fully suited up. And then we cut over to some other photos, from Canada Graphs and you see the team, or at least three members of the team, face off against the mystery blonde woman. So it seems this person is definitely villainous and this person somehow has maybe killed or knocked out all of the surrounding people surrounding our heroes. So she is obviously really powerful and she has some sort of powers that she's able to control people. However, Team Supergirl aren't susceptible to it as of right now. So it seems like they've somehow overcome her threat and I would presume this is kind of later in the episode as they try and take her down for one final time as the whole team suits up to try and take her down. So you can see right here there is a standoff between that villain and also our heroes with Supergirl standing smack bang in the middle. And like we showed earlier, this is a cool photo of Kelly suited up in a Guardian suit. I'm a huge fan of this suit, I think it looks fantastic. And then let's move on to the next photo. You got Kelly at the bottom and her suit is glowing in the sun. Kyla is in the background with David Ramsey and David's directing her and it seems like she is being told to do some sort of move. Maybe the thing on her arm is some sort of inhibitor that stops that villain from affecting them. I would presume something like that is going on because they normally do that if it's like some sort of psychic villain or someone who can control them. They always find a way to stop them. And so cutting back over, you see Kelly getting onto a motorcycle and I think it's exciting that you get to see both Alex and Kelly on their own motorcycles as proper heroes before the show's end because Kelly hasn't really had the time to shine as a hero because really she's just a normal kind of character who has never suited up but they've always teased that she would eventually become Guardian so now she gets her own fully personalized suit she gets her motorcycle to go with it and then also Alex has been progressing to becoming a proper hero recently. She has been named Sentinel and she's got her superhero costume which is pretty cool. And now she gets her own motorcycle so that is cool that they both will like 
probably get like a shot where they're driving together and so this scene that they were filming throughout the whole day was just like one kind of big action scene and there was multiple cameras going on at the same time so they were just trying to get everything captured and I'm presuming in this episode this is where Kelly gets her suit for the first time however it would make sense if she gets like at least a few episodes of training because she hasn't been trained to fight before so I'm going to be curious to see how they explain that. They probably won't explain it. I mean, they've done that in the past. If you guys remember how they did Black Canary becoming Black Canary. So Laurel had a little bit of training before and then she felt she was ready to go out. So she suited up as Black Canary. However, I don't know if it's likely that they have time to do like three or four episodes of training for Kelly. So maybe she just suits up and she's like, I'm ready to be a hero. And she just goes out and kind of wings it. That's a possibility, but I'm presuming maybe Alex is going to do a little bit of training with her. Anyway, let's move on to the final three photos. These come from Themyscira Bound, and like I said earlier, you get to see Kelly suited up. Obviously, Azzy is in the costume, and apparently a few times throughout the day, Azzy's stunt double was in the costume as well. However, most of the stuff was her when it was just like on camera or talking, and so she's here, and David stands next to her. And in the next photo, her helmet is being tweaked, or I think maybe her hair is being tweaked. But it gives us a closer look at the helmet in full action, and I think it just looks fantastic, like I said. Also, you can see that one of her strands of her hair is gold, so it kind of goes along with that. And I think that is pretty cool. However, how does it turn gold every time she suits up? That will be interesting. They probably won't explain it, but it's just something I thought I would bring up. And then the final photo is this cool photo, you see the crew members in the background and Azzy is just standing here as Kelly in the Guardian suit and it just looks awesome. So that's about it for this video guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Remember we're going to be covering the John Diggle scenes that were shown in Canada Grass's blog sometime over the next few days. But for now, thank you guys so much for watching, if you enjoyed the video please be sure to leave a like and a comment. Subscribe and turn on notifications if you're new. Also become a member of the channel by clicking the join button if you want to support the channel and get exclusive perks like our monthly Zoom member call which is going to be happening in about a week or so from now. So now is the time to join if you want to become a member of the DC TV show. Also remember we stream every Thursday so be on the lookout for that. But for now, thank you guys for watching and I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye. I see red.